Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Ogre Battle 64, it's up to about 0099, and today we're actually gonna start off by going into the Ten of Plains, because I believe there was something that I actually never did here after the initial mission, and that would be to go down to Bordeaux. So I think, yeah, off to Bordeaux in the Ten of Plains, because there is someone that we need to talk to there that will reveal uh, the place where we can purchase an item for a character class that is, <laughs> strangely enough, not the Dragoon, but for the Princess class of character. Very lawful unit, as you might expect. Also a bit powerful, and also as you might expect, because you have to go through the whole process of getting all the items for it. So I'll, I may as well get any items that I can. No guarantee that I'll actually be able to get all of the items for either the dragoon or the princess. But uh, yeah, so all you need to do is just enter the stronghold at Bordeaux and talk to the person. Why must there be orders? Why must lands be divided? Um, that's not what you're supposed to tell me. Um, that's oh, that's right. Duh! It needs to be a female character. Yeah, it needs to sort of be a female character, not a male. Ah, da 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 da! Come on, Katrina. Magnus, go! Walk around in the forest. <laughs> See if you can find a level 2 young dragon or something. Because I think they're in the forest. Yep, so this map was the very first one we were in. Strangely enough. Very first mission. You could have come back here with one of the female squad commanders and, uh, Got this information, I just never really did. Oh, what's this? Oh, hard leather. <laughs> of all things, I actually found something I missed the first time here. I don't think he's gonna end up finding a uh, young dragon. Or whatever's in the forest here. I know that they exist here. Okay, we've reached the destination! Enter the stronghold. There we go. I moved here with my husband, but how how could a refined woman like myself live out in the country? However, one good thing about living here, I can buy silk at Darnell's. I can give it to the dressmaker in Bilney in Tenna Plains. I've never seen such gorgeous dresses anywhere. Why not have one made for yourself instead of fighting like barbarians? My daughter told me that a bolt of silk is available on the 15th of every month. Ooh. So, there is a dressmaker. There is a dressmaker. I've never actually even ever done this to begin with. Uh, the bolt of silk costs two grand. Uh, do I have two grand? Yeah, I do have two grand. Uh, the problem is you actually have to get there and be there on the 15th. As in, it has to be the 15th between 9 a.m. and 6 p.m. So, it's the 10th. That means I would have to wait five days. And now I've missed it. So if you go back and forth, eventually, hopefully, I'll end up being close to the 15th. Ah, uh, damn. It's always going to be the same, isn't it? Ah, uh, boy. So I would have to either wait another month, because there's no way I can go back, go to any of these. Ah, uh, shit, fine. Area investigation on day five. How many of us will just 
do this with a female character. May as well, and it's in... Not this region. Fail. Not this region. Totally in Dardanelles. Ah, oh, boy. Oh, damn. Ah. Uh, oh, it passed Ryo. That means it has been... Happy birthday! And this is the first war. Magnus turns 19! His companions throw a birthday party and give him a present. Scene replay, L button. Happy birthday, Magnus! And we got our special characters that we currently have all gathered around the table. So, happy birthday! We'll be counting on you, Magnus! May your future be blessed by the gods. I've never seen such a great party! You've grown quite a bit, Magnus. Uh, thank you. We prepared this celebration just for you. You should thank your friends. We have a gift for you. What do we get? What do we get? A Goblet of Destiny! Ooh. Ooh, Goblet of Destiny. Um... What does that do again? Uh, I think it has something with the alignment. Um... List. Goblet of Destiny. Alters the destiny of one who drinks from it. Yeah, that could not be any more cryptic, now could it? Ah, uh, what does it do? I think it alters alignment. I think it alters alignment. I have to check that. Ah, uh, Ogre Battle 64. Goblet of Destiny. Yes, I'm actually searching this live uh, on my computer. What does it do? Tell me. Let's see. Oh, I know. I see. Oh, it changes your luck stat, I believe. Uh, So, it, yeah, it changes luck, which is simply the chance that your character has of getting a critical. Uh, and it affects the chances of becoming a zombie at the end of a battle or angel knight. Uh, and finding a decent treasure after beating an enemy, so that is actually pretty decent. Um, you are going to be used on Magnus. Uh, it increases the... It decreased my luck. Awesome. So I guess it's random. It is completely random. I could have just sold it. <sighs> decreased the luck of Magnus. Great. Awesome. Now, to actually try and get to the 15th of the month. Well, on that province. Because I really don't want to. Damn it! Don't want to keep going back and forth month after month until I finally get to the 15th. This will get me six days away. Sure, why not? I will cut ahead to getting there. The uh, specific town is Melfi. 
So whatever the hell Melfi is. Melfi, 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 Melfi. Melfi, there you are. So on day six, between 6 a.m. and 9 p.m., time will travel extremely slowly, and I have really nothing else to talk about, so I'm going to skip ahead for Okay, so while waiting, I decided that I'd send everybody out and have them search for whatever it is that's around here. Uh, I had Troy on uh, route between the starting location and the ending stronghold. He just reached the ending stronghold, so he's technically in the Barrens. So apparently in the Barrens they have thunder dragons here. Um, let's try and get it while we can, although this is technically in the stronghold. Yes! Oh, yes! Oh, thank you, Lord. We just got a thunder dragon. Oh, yes, we just got a thunder dragon. And it's still a couple of days away from the, uh day that we're looking for. I have all my guys set to patrol the various areas, so now that I know that uh, barons have thunder dragons, I might... well, I have one now. I don't actually know if I want a second one, because dragons, it's really like depending on what type they are. Since I already have a thunder dragon, I don't really need to have another one. There's just no need for one. Um, it'd be nice to have like one of each. I think one of my dragons will be a thunder dragon, if I'm not terribly mistaken. So now I know that that's the uh, dragon type that you find in Dardanelles. The uh, other locations should have things that are not dragons. Preferably, I would uh, think that there would be hawkmen on the highways. Uh, one would think that there would be Hawkmen on the highways. Um, either fairies or gremlins on the plains. And, uh, whatever else in the forests. Uh, highlands either have golems or worms. Uh, forests might actually have uh, gremlins or fairies, for that matter. All my guys are gonna make camp soon enough here. Uh, so I have three people on the highways because the encounter rate is really low on highways. Yeah, everyone's going to make camp right about now. They're setting up camp! Yada 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 camp. Fine. Stop wasting my time. Uh, it's midday, day five. We have until 9 a.m. on day six. So... Not that much time left. I think I won't end up cutting the rest of the time. You can watch everyone just walking back and forth, marching back and forth, trying to find more neutral encounters, uh, and hopefully being able to get them join the battal get them to join the battalion, because that would be amazing. Depending on what it is, I would actually not prefer to have another Thunder Dragon join us, because we just got one, and we're likely gonna, I think we're getting another one with one of the young dragons that we have. In fact, I can check. Hello. What is your dragon's type? That is, yeah, so this will be, this will be a thunder dragon, too. It will turn purple. <laughs> uh, eventually. And it will be the stronger of thunder dragons. Uh, from this character here. Uh, because training it up from level 5 is a whole lot, uh, gonna be a whole lot stronger than training up whatever I got here that's likely level 7 or 6 or something. I don't know. I can check. Uh, organization screen. I can pretty quickly check. What level are you? You are level 8! Oh boy. Same level as... What this? What level is this dragon? This dragon is level nine. Let's see: 110, 110, 71, 101. Uh, yeah, he is 
arguably stronger as a young dragon than this thunder dragon that we just got. Uh, bite is 16 times 2. That's the same attack power in the front. I wouldn't have a thunder dragon or any of the other elemental dragons in the front, I mean in the back, to do their magic attacks. I wouldn't ever do that. Uh, not until they change form again into something, into their most powerful forms. Which, uh, what is the Thunder Dragon's one? I actually have, I don't remember what the Thunder Dragon's one is called. Uh, yeah, I don't remember the, th the Thunder one. Surprising, but I don't actually remember the Thunder one. I know the, uh, names of a few of them. Oh, it's day six and it's after nine. Enter Stronghold. Hello? Hey, mister! How about this for your girl? Uh, this is our special of the day! A bolt of silk! How about 2,000 goth? Would you like to buy it? Yes. Uh, I'll take it to have it tailored later. Uh, if I can even tailor it at this point in time. Uh, we get stuff in periodically, so please come again. Yeah. If I wait until nighttime, if I had 50,000 goth, I'd be able to buy Meteor Strike, which is a spell book, a very powerful spell book, but I think we'll be able to find Meteor Strike later on. Anyway, we're gonna save! And we're gonna start up Alba. I know this is like 16 minutes in to the video already, but uh, scene 9, Liberation of Alba. We can at least start the mission, and then next time we'll be actually doing it. Ah, the Central Division has taken the slaughter of the reinforcements at Dardanelles as a mutiny by the Southern Division. Wasn't the Southern Division the general following the Central Division's orders? I have no idea why General Gadislas decided to involve those monsters, but it's certain that the Central Region is worried about Lotus. If they learn that Palatinus was employing monsters, nothing can be said if they consider this kingdom as a land of pagans. The entire southern division was cut off to emphasize that the central region took no part in the incident. Cut off, huh? Troops have been dispatched to control the chaos created by the monsters. Most of them, including Destin and his company, were sent to this region. We are on our own against the Southern Division. Let's get started. Alba! Alara in the south will be our embarkation point. Aka Castle, a half day's march north of Alada, is our objective. We must take the castle. There is only one possible route directly north of Aka Castle, but there will be a sizable force waiting for our arrival. We will lose in a battle of numbers. I think it's best to wait for the enemy to come to us, than defeat them one at a time. Yes, yeah, so that's essentially what they are telling you to do. Just Take the town to the north and just wait for them to come at you. Uh, let's see. What will we be fighting against? We will be fighting against... Uh, level 8s and 9s. There's, le there's level 11 phalanx surrounded by soldiers. Uh, a cleric with golems. Again. We've seen that how many times with the clerics in the middle row and have the two golems off on the side. Uh, let's see, there's a level 9 knight with a level 8 knight and two level 8 clerics. Oh, that'll be fun, fighting against those. Uh, let's see, oh, there's an undead squad in here. Level 9 wizard heading up a skeleton and ghost. Uh, both level 8. So, 8s and 9s for the most part, besides that 11 phalanx. Uh, shouldn't be too bad, actually. And the commander is, uh, level 8. Yeah. With a level 8 
whole level 8 squad, and he's quite vulnerable right in the middle. Uh, so, yeah, um... Oh, there's a pumpkin head unit. Damn. What? Where? Oh, yeah, I see. There's a level 9 witch with, uh, level 10 fighter and two pumpkin heads. One is in the back, one is in the front. Uh, so expect a rain of pumpkins. But the only thing that can actually kill you in that squad is a fighter! Holy shit, dude. And briefing. Even though it was abandoned by the Central Region, the Southern Division is a force to be reckoned with. I'm also concerned about General Godslaw's intentions. We must stay alert. Regardless of why, this is a perfect opportunity for us. I want to meet the expectations of our sympathizers and the Revolutionary Army who took us in. Inform everyone to prepare for battle. Absolutely. Okay, really tiny map. Really tiny map. For the exception that you have to go through quite rough terrain to get to the east. Alright, we are going to pause and do a brief overview, and then we're going to end things off and do this next time. Oh, hell. 87 morale. Shit. Again, 87 morale. Shit. 15? 67. 68. Wow, they want, they really want you to have a really low alignment unit by now and a really high alignment unit by now. Uh, there is no way that I will be able to ever liberate this. There's likely no way I will ever be able to liberate these, to be honest, but what are in the shops? Okay, so the shop in this first town of Gohel, Gui-Hel, Geo-Hel, whatever, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, let's see, it has a bandana, pointy hat, skipply staff, short bow, merry nets. Oh, yeah, I want to go there. Uh, it has spell books, book of earth and book of water. Um, also has witch's dress and leather armor. Uh, the other one, I know exactly what the other one has. Uh, well, specifically one item that it has. It has an iron helmet, short swords, great bows, balder swords. It'd be nice to go there for balder swords. It has the other two elemental books, wind and flame. And it has the spellbook Annihilation, which costs 30,000, but increases, depending on how many days you've been playing, it increases by 20 per day up to a maximum of 60,000. So I wouldn't be too surprised if it's already getting close to 60,000. Uh, also has a round shield, chain mail, and hard leather. Not really much to worry about. Uh, I definitely want to go this way because I want some of those elemental spell books, but I don't have the money. Yeah, I don't have the money. I have to I have to sell stuff in uh, my item commands. Yeah, I have to I have to actually sell some stuff here. Oh, I have a helm of the fearless. Hmm. I have to equip. Equip that. Uh, do, 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 do. What can I sell? 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 I have shit to sell. Oh boy. Because I'll have to end up buying it back later. Well, I suppose. I didn't even equip the Hollow Shield! My god! Really? Really, game? I, I didn't ever equip the Hollow Shield. Ah, and I didn't equip Magnus with the Sun Mask. Damn it. I need to equip Magnus with this. Oh, I have a Claymore. Wait, I have a Claymore. That should mean I should have the ability to do whatever's coming up after the Fencer. Guess I don't have anyone capable of being that. Uh, yeah, because the Fencer's upgrade uses the Claymore. 
Um, yeah, uh, equip items on people. Yeah. Uh, you... You get the Helm of the Fearless. Oh, God, you're so much stronger with that. Oh, yeah. And it's low alignment squad, and that thing is Bane element. And you, you get the Hollow Shield. Although it lowers your defense. So actually, no, you aren't going to get it. You, you are going to get it. Let's see. Wooden Shield made from the Holy Tree of Birth that protects the wielder from status change. No status changes for them. I... Uh, had a sun manis, I could give it to Dio for now. Yeah, it sort of lightning made from the scale of a thunder dragon. Yeah, it's decent. Uh, if you put it onto Magnus, he will be able to cast thunder from the back row. Whoop diddy. Uh, so I think we're gonna end things off here, folks. With that, I want to thank you all for watching. This has been Elchilo Six Zero Nine Nine, and next time, let's play Lord Metal Sixty Four. We are actually going to do this mission. I will see you all then.